name of the movie is The Mist. Guys, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with thunderstorms, guys, in general. Like, specifically when things like this happen, um, I used to hate it. But now I think I kind of hope for it, if that makes any sense. Because it kind of changes up the routine. I get to use the generator, right? Um, I get to use my, my secondary studio, my backup studio. It's just a fun thing to do, generally. I don't know. It's dark. Like, there's no excuse why the family can't all be in the same room, guys. It's a fun thing, right? As long as it's not too long. But generally a fun thing. Oh, that's terrible. Okay, so not... This was not... Okay, no, this wasn't a fun thing for them. Not at all. You got uprooted trees. Put all the time, two big heads. I should have brought it downstairs with me last night. It was stupid, I guess. I mean, if it was important to you, you probably should have. You know, we're safe. That's all that counts. Yeah. Mom, Dad, you gotta I mean, listen, I get it. Terribleness. Absolutely. But you at least still have the memory of this, even though the object is actually most likely going to be gone. Right. You could keep pieces of it. I don't know. Make something out of that tree. And then you'll have a new memory, but still the same overall memory of you playing in the tree. You're an artist, so utilize it. Whoa! Whoa! He's super excited. See the damage? No. Oh, that boathouse is gone, bro. Yeah. Oh no! Uh, I think that's probably going to be somewhat of a lawsuit. I'm gonna go ahead and guess. All right, that, that probably should be something. Lawsuit oriented. Your tree fell onto my boathouse and wrecked my boathouse. You're obviously paying for this, right? Um, I've been trying to ask you nicely. Remove this tree for it falls. You ignored me. All right. What is it, Daddy? Fog? Mist? Mist? On the lake? The it's mist? Lake Left over from the storm? Something like that? Okay, sure. then. If that was the case, it would be a tornado. Why don't you... Hey, he's going to say sue me, which I don't know. Maybe we should. Yeah. That's nice of you to say. Oh, it's, that car was cherry. I, I hate to see it like that. You're not um, heading into town today by any chance, are you? The Draytons. All right, so the movie's starting out with like some, like some warring neighbors. Uh, common. I guess, right? Specifically if your land, if your house butts up really close to each other, uh, I guess, like subdivision style, suburban living, right? We are really close to your neighbors. It's not uncommon to war with your neighbor, unfortunately, right? I don't think so, at least. WZON is off the air, but- So it was a tornado. still broadcasting. Daddy, look. Ah. Uh, this is a little weird, right? And the reason why I'm saying this is because uh, it looks like these uh, these soldiers are kind of mobilized on uh, you know, continental U.S., guys. It's a little odd. Maybe. Maybe their power's out, too. Maybe. But probably not. Meet you guys in there. Hold hands. Okay, so this is, uh, this is taking place in Maine, based off the license plate. So, New York, Maine, all right. As in the guy, the neighbor um, that's currently holding the kid's hand, um, Brent, he is, uh, I guess he works in New York City. He has a secondary house in Maine. That's a long drive, bro. Um, that's a long, unnecessary drive, actually. You should, you should have just bought it either in, in Connecticut or Long Island, bro. Like Montauk or someplace civilized. <laughs> The food house. Keep your head down, pal. Okay. You know it. Overacting much? Thanks for helping me out today. Are you and Mr. Norton gonna be friends now, Daddy? Probably not. I don't know. Uh, friends might be stretching it a little. Okay. Guess they're not mad at each other anymore. Oh no, they're mad. It's not. 
They're mad at That's each other. <laughs> Absolutely. But they have to be neighborly. Look back. There you go. Sorry to hear that. That's very police. Oh, we're fine. Another half an hour, we'd have been gone. That's. Is this like about like the biggest storm that to ever hit like a place? Maybe it is. I'm trying to figure out this is uh, this movie, guys. Like there's a lot of people here that look like main characters, though. A lot of them. And generally we don't run into like scenes where so many people look like main characters. They have to be setting setting this up for some reason i can't figure it out Just another main character something in the mist something, something in the, the mist, mist. Took john. I could hear him something in the mist shut the took doors. john shut lee the doors, man. something in the mist took john lee there's no visibility in that mist Guys, is this not like a scary movie of sorts? Some kind of chemical explosion it has to be. Okay. If it, it, honestly, that's the vibe. Like right now, I mean, if something this thick with no visibility means that the smoke is extremely dense or the mist is extremely dense, it, this isn't naturally occurring. It can't be not at that level of denseness. That means it's also probably carrying something absolutely crazy within the mist, like a chemical or some type of something, right? Has to be chemical oriented. Maybe it burns the skin. The reason why this guy, this guy just screamed, but he did just say something in the mist took John Lee. I don't know. Okay. Some sort of earthquake, but but it's like localized, a localized earthquake. I can't stay here. I got to get home to my kids. No, no, don't go out there. All right, so we definitely have two Walking Dead characters, guys. It's the end of days. Stop it, okay? Stop. All right, bro. Whatever she's saying, ignore her immediately, bro. Put her outside the door. All right, I don't. The overall vibe I'm getting from this person here, I, you know, we, we know people like this. Kick her out right now. Let's stay here until we figure it out. You're not listening. I can't stay here. Okay. Wanda's looking after little Victor. She's only eight. I, um. Won't somebody here see a lady home? Listen, I get it. But if you go outside with no type of like protection for your skin or maybe your your lungs, you're probably not going to exist any longer for the kid you're looking to get home to. Um, but. Please, I got my own boy to worry about. Right. Just don't go outside, Carol. You're about to be the test dummy, so you go. All right. Now everyone watch from the glass. <laughs> leaning, this soldier here is leaning in to directly speak almost in a whisper to the other soldiers. Leave has been canceled or being called back. We see military on the streets. I think the military must know something, guys. It's a traumatic event. Let him cry. Console him, but let him cry. Old Biddy at the tea party. My nerves are jangled, I guess. Boy, settle down. Old Biddy. Help him clean up. I'll take him. Okay. Daddy, don't go. No, I'll be gone two seconds, big girl. Bro, not once has he said anything out loud, at least, about the fact that his wife is at home alone. Um, and that mist was coming over the, the lake by their house, so that means this mist already covered 
their house. So hopefully she knew enough to stay inside or be inside the house. But I guess it doesn't help when a tree goes through your window and now you have a gigantic window open upstairs. So that mist is getting inside the house. Huh. I wonder if he's already thought about all these things. But also, uh, it's a really good idea to be stuck. If you're going to be stuck somewhere, be stuck in, you know, a, uh, a grocery store. All right, and so the, and the neighbor is trying to gain control, like a mayor or something. Bro, it's an unfamiliar area, and it just got dark. And she almost feels like a love interest, guys. Like her? Um, it almost feels like she's being introduced as some type of love interest, but it doesn't make any sense because there shouldn't be a love interest for the main character. Nothing natural about but that's the overall vibe. And you've done that to yourself by a life of sin and dissolution. Bro, kick her out right now. Put her outside the door. Don't let her talk. What is happening? David. Hey, you guys hear that? The general. Okay, yeah, whatever. There's literally something in the mist. It isn't, it isn't like a like a chemical or anything like that. It's literally, or maybe, maybe the mist itself has some type of toxin associated to it, right? But it would make sense if, I guess the only way that could probably happen if there was pressure oriented, right? Like, I mean, but it, there couldn't be pressure in that area it's outside unless somehow the outside became pressurized and we were in some type of vacuum and trying to think how this could swell based off of like a, like a gas or a liquid maybe, but no, no, no. That's something pushing against the, the, the security door, guys, the, the garage door. It's not like a chemical. Okay, let's go. Could be, still. Could be both. But it's something in that mist. Why not? It's an electric door, right? Well, yeah, but it may not be wise to send him out there. Oh, wait, guys. Did the woman ever come back? Carol. I don't know. I have no idea what her name is in this movie apologies um but did that woman ever come back because i don't think so i think this, the scene just changed and we forgot about her um so we don't really know what happens when you leave right well other than the fact that the person who went to that el camino he disappeared also or well he disappeared off into the mist we have no idea all, all we did all we heard was a scream right so we don't really know fully actually yet if there's something actually in the mist, other than the fact that we did see the thing, like, apologies. We did see, right, there's something pushing against the gate. Okay. I'm not convinced that you heard anything. Right. I mean, we're not hearing anything now, right? Yeah, you're going to regret that, bro. Anybody? Make you better than anybody else, not in my book. Yeah, Ooh, Nor do he's I one like of those. Being talked down to or called he's one of those. By a guy who went to college. Fellas, it doesn't even... Ugh. Okay, so yeah, throw that guy out also. Him, 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 and the other woman. Those two people, throw them out right now. All right, you are a hater, sir. Okay. It seems like his presence, the or the idea of him, makes you feel like less of a man, maybe. Because I'm sick to death of your. Uh huh. All right. Right. Come on, Myron. Impugning their manhood or something? Yes. Yes, you are. You you literally are. It's a mistake. Absolutely. Oh, that's some thick fog. Oh. Look, it's not even moving, guys. Any boogie, man? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty scary, ain't it, Norm? Like something Norm. is like squelching. It's movement. Get off! Get off! Get this crazy thing off me! Get off! Help me! Help me! Help me! Bro, you gave him the rope, unfortunately. Oh, them! Oh, they're just standing there. That's what they're doing. They're just standing there. Bro, they have teeth. Bro, just let him go. That thing is. Yeah, just yeah, just I'm. Oh. I, 
Bro, what am I looking at? He's gone, guys. I'm sorry, he's gone. I regret to inform you, sir. You're fired. Right. I don't know. I can't. I. I. I'm. I, guys, I cannot define. I don't have any idea how to explain what I just encountered. Um, some like octopus creature thing with tentacles. I'm gonna go ahead and guess octopus because I don't. I can't. My mind can't come up with another reason why or how something else exists with tentacles other than an octopus. I don't, uh, it's maybe an alien movie? Could this be an alien movie, guys? The military, the fire department, the mist. Why the mist? Does it like sweat mist? I'm trying to think of reasons how, guys. Um, but whatever, the guy was right, and you, sir, are wrong, and you should definitely have been the first one out there. You said you heard something. He told you. How was I supposed to know what you meant? You should have said what you meant better. He told you, sir. He absolutely told you. He, you just don't like him because you think he's better than you. It was a big bird or something. Deserved. You got that kid killed. Yep. Deserved. You get a good look at it, huh? Right. You get a good look Again. At it. Deserved. I'm sorry. Bro, shut your mouth. I'm sorry about the kid. Shut your mouth. Oh, God. Bro, you can get out. You and that crazy cult lady we can both leave. Anyway, what do we say? How Monster we took the kid. What the hell were those tentacles even attached to? Exactly. Something bigger. Yeah, but the entire front of the store is plate glass. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh my god right oh i didn't put that together yeah that's a problem bro i'm sorry uh, i'm i'm just not that stupid oh you're an idiot what are you taking me for an idiot now officially an idiot i'm shocked like they're not trying to play you bro Go back there and look. Shocked. It's, it's pretty. Look, I'm going to be taking down names, starting with you. And I am prepared to file a police report. Fine, but write down your names. I will. In the meantime, shut the f up and listen. <laughs> right. Right. Hear what he's got to say. If you're what he about said. Haha. <laughs> Okay. Well, I guess all the evidence is gone now, unfortunately. It appears we may have a problem of some magnitude here. Right. Guys, that glass is like paper, and there's already a crack in it? Oh, no. Some can be saved, can't they? How are you going to save them? Some can be broken. Keep thinking. Mr. Lawyer, there's no defense against the will of God. There's no court of appeals in hell. There's no defense here either. Throw her out right now. Her and Brent. Throw, throw, no, you throw both of these people out. They seem to be trying to rally a cause, right? Um, and both of them are giving me kind of cult vibes. Guys, that's it. Throw Brent out, throw her out, and then throw the other guy out that was in the back when Norm got taken. Those of you who want to discuss this thing rationally Here to find go. a means of rescue, I are welcome this. to join me. We got those windows taped up as best we could. It should help. Bro, you guys honestly should just be attempting to shelter in place. Yeah, I think so. Well, what are you saying? What are you proposing? That we all Nothing. Prepare. She's literally proposing nothing, bro. Then go out. Go out and say how do you do. Shut up, lady. Start with yourself. Please. God's sakes. Look, you'll have to stop now. You're scaring the children. They should be scared. Bro, throw her out. They should. 
Don't let it touch your child, bro. Pure little minds have been corrupted with lies. Lies. Your or lies. Of a modern god. Or no oh, god. There, as Abraham prepared to sacrifice his only son to prove his love for God. So. Thank you. Thank you. Do it again. It Do it again. Be paid for God. So. Thank you. One more time. Bill is a Jew. Prove his love for God. So. All right. There we go. Get her out of the store right payment. now. Mommy's okay. Really? We'll see how long. Okay, so we got 47 minutes into the movie, and this is the first time they remembered that the mother was in the, inside the house. Anybody know how to shoot it? Well, I mean, I do. You? Holly. Bro, this man here is trash. Like the, the manager of the store here, garbage. Please. I saw where you parked when I pulled in. Red pickup, right? Far entrance. Son, you got brass balls. The shells are in the glove compartment. Drive it back. Man, I guess. The joke would be. Oh, it's going to be on you. It's going to be on you. Don't worry. You're doing good. <laughs> You're Lego. Whoa, why is it up? <laughs> Guys. Okay. So we heard no screaming. We've heard no signs of struggle. So I'm guessing the mist also has some type of like sound deadening uh, attribute, maybe? All right. You next. Did you see? Now, do you believe? Of course she's using this. Of course. Bro, your hands have the red viscous fluid on it. Why would you then proceed to touch your mouth? Why? For what reason do you think that's a... Never mind. That's lucky. That means they're okay. I hope so. So? That's lucky. That's that mean that. Wait. That's lucky. That means they're okay. How do you know if they're okay? I mean, by looking at this, the whole, I would suspect the whole planet has now been covered in this mist. Or do you know for sure, soldier man, um, that the mist is extremely localized to this very specific area? Let me know. Let me know, soldier man. It was like a bug. Ah! Oh. oh that's not a that's 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 not a regular bug, bro. That's something different. Maybe it's like a drone or something. It's still a part of whatever the tentacles are a part of, but they also have drones that come out at night that chase the light. Maybe. And why are we attempting to attract them? Turn the lights off, bro. Turn the lights off, bro. Please. For the sake of your existence, turn these lights off. Please. And pour out the vials of the wrath of God upon the earth. <laughs> Turn the lights off, bro. Does she now turn into one of those things? 
wait, bro, bro, listen, relax, sir. You just stole, well, she kissed you in the back of like some locker room probably three minutes ago. How is she, sweetheart? Let me know. I'm confused. Are you rushing things a little bit? I mean, I get it. You're going to say in the comments, well, they've obviously been flirting since high school. That's what she said, right? But now she's sweetheart already. She's honey, sweetie baby, right? Already. All right. Well, I mean, listen, the, the world's over, right? By leaving them on, you're just a trap. Oh. Bro, she, she, yeah. That's like, bro, like some type of like anaphylaxis, right? You know, and then it's like closing her, her throat, obviously, because she got stung on the, on this side, on this side, but apparently everything's happening on this side. Either way, let's not bring that up again. But so now her throat's closing. Oh, that's crazy. Imagine suffocation. Like, like deletion by suffocation sounds frightening, bro. And and we're talking about like, like an internal suffocation. Like you probably need to do some type of like, I don't know, ballpoint pen stab into like the, like the lung or something. And just so we can get some air still moving. But something tells me that oh, maybe, maybe the lower throat, maybe, but yeah, either way, guys, this is brutal. Hmm. My life for you. I think a lot of these insects generally sting if they feel pressure in their body, right? Like a lot of the spiders also do the same thing. Like they just are not going to bite you randomly unless they feel pressure on their body. Then they're just like, oh, you're trying to eat me. Oh, well, then. No, bro. Move the kid. Move the kid. Move the kid. She said that they would come at night. She told us someone would die. Oh no. Oh no. Bro, kick her out right now. Guys, I think it was gonna, it was, this was gonna happen anyway. This was 100% gonna happen anyway. Like, if you think the stuff in the daytime is scary, wait for the stuff that comes out at night. Always. It's okay. This isn't new. Guys, some weird love interest vibe again. You have kids. If she, if she, if you guys can't help me, you, you gotta end it, okay? Right. Well, he's got that gun, right? Mm. Right. Yeah. Oh. Let's give me the gun. Ooh. <laughs> Definitely a couple of moral issues here, but bro, I, I you know, listen, can't imagine the pain of this, right? Like a crazy burn, burned down to basically to the point where your skin melts, it's gone. And now parts of your body that has always been covered with skin are now exposed to the elements, right? All of the particulates and dust in the air is now sitting on and interacting with brand new parts of your body that has that have never had, not had any skin covering it. Ooh. And then also the feeling of that actually happening to you. Mm. Yeah, that's that's bad. This is this is really bad, guys. Unless you take painkillers in the worst way. Oh, yeah, those are gone. Liquor and aspirin. Tried to, it didn't work so well, did it? Well, let's burn the goddamn store now. Right. It's hurting. Yeah, but the problem is, is bro, where are you gonna go? Um, I'm not really a fan of the <laughs> just of this exact situation here, guys. That they're in, obviously. But who knows how far this mist has spread? It could be the entire eastern seaboard. Yeah, it, it could right. be the whole world. Or more. It wouldn't make us any less dead. I mean, listen, the soldier said it's basically just here. That's 
kind of what he said, how he said it at least. Not what it is. Mrs. Carmody. Okay. The very own Jim Jones. Right. I'd like to leave Jim the Jones. Drink drinking the Kool Aid. Drinking the right. Kool Aid. Absolutely. Like people get the better she's going to look. People are basically good, decent. Oh my God, David, we're a civilized society. Sure. Okay. Those machines are working and you can dial 911, but you take. Absolutely. Like a lot of the things that, that people are very comfortable with doing in the United States of America, or how about this, most of the Western world, as soon as the Western world goes dark for a long period of time, like listen, bro, if we lose electricity for one month, every single cause that people are chasing after or trying to promote or, or, or trying to just live within, right, goes away instantly. Everything, everything goes back to whatever it was 100, 200 years ago. I'm telling you, everything goes back to 200 years. But all right, listen. Why do you think we invented politics and religion? Oh, Jesus, that's just... Basically, wrong. yeah. Nobody has to... But is he? He's not wrong. He's right. He's probably the most right character that's speaking right now. Um, we generally are just tribalists like by nature. Um, unfortunately, we look for groups to, to that, that kind of share our own belief systems. Um, you know, we join, we purposely join echo chambers. Yeah, yeah. It's like we want, like everything in the human's existence seems to be chasing a cult of sorts. Completely, you just want to be in a cult. The masses, at least, there, you know, there are certain, there are some people who shy against every single cult that exists, but there are some people who just fall for it, guys. F completely. Hook, like line, sinker, right. guys. You'll walk out that door and be torn to shreds, and then your hellbound pride will have them come get the rest of us. Yes, they'll come back for all of us, just like this good lady said. Bro, throw her Do outside. Do you want to happen, people? No, no. This place, this kind of pride and defiance of the... Thank you. Shut stone up, her. You miserable buzzard. You old More. Bastard. More stones. Stoning <laughs> people who piss you off is perfectly okay. They do yep. it in the Bible, don't they? I told you. I told you. More stones because it's okay. And I got lots of peas. David, please, <laughs> if you want to go next, I don't want to look at a gray screen. I understand. There's no visibility. All right, there we go. But there is a lot. There is a lot of particulate in the air, though, based off of the sorry the beams of the flashlight. A lot of it. Like, I've used smoke machines before, but I've never been able to achieve this level of density. Maybe a special mixture they created specifically for this. I'm David. Something weird. All right, we got the medicine. Do we need to go check out what it is, bro? I'm sorry. It's all our fault. It's all our fault. Oh, I... Why are we still here? Why, bro, why are we still here right now? Bro, all of this because you wanted to sit here and stay and be nosy. Guys, you got them. You got all of the medicine you needed. Leave. Why are we still here? For what? The only thing we just learned is that apparently the military have something to do with this. It's our fault. We did it, is what the soldier said. All right, go, all right we get it. Finish the story up a little bit. Sure, why not? But leave right now. Or you're, or all of you guys are going to be deleted. Oh, my God. Right. Right. Uh, okay. Now go. Oh, oh guys. All right, guys, we made it. 
We made it through this scene here, guys. We did. We absolutely did. That was a rough one. Now you know you didn't have to do that. What happened? But of course the cult lady is gonna be like, I knew this was gonna happen. Here we go. We have seen the earth vomit from. She's got to believe in. She's a psychic. She has a direct line with God. Why wouldn't they? Bro, throw her out. Guys, from the beginning of the movie, just be glad I wasn't here. All right? If I was here, I would have said blatantly, throw her out of the building. Her and Brent, instantly. Don't wait. Throw her out. I don't like cults, guys. What will end it? Let me hear it. So what are we talking about? <laughs> a clown. Welcome to Sesame Street. Right. Today's word is expiation. I'd rather die out there trying than in here waiting. Right. I absolutely die on your feet than just waiting to be consumed. I want to know what this mist is. David, I'm not even sure I knew he was talking. The situation was insane. He said he was sorry. Wasn't that the word he used? Sorry. That's right. He said it was their yeah. fault. Right? What did mm -hmm. he mean by that? I ain't seen them. I said, look like the keeper. Ah, uh, bro. What do you want from me? It's not a big store. Where are they? Seriously. Like, where'd they go? They know about this mist. It's the only place they can be. Ooh. <gasps> right. What's up there, huh? We got you now, you. S oh no! Most of you people know me, honey. No! Oh! Stop your chicken, honey, <coughs> or I will cut you. Okay, sir. Why are you allowing this woman to choke you, bro? I. You're a soldier. No. I don't think you, I don't know how this man made it. If, he, if he's sitting here allowing allowing this Surely, to happen to him. Out. No, you tell us. <coughs> tell us. That's crazy. Bro. Look, look, okay, okay. You know, other other worlds all around us and how they wanted to try and make um a, a window. Okay. You know, so they could look through and see what's on the other side. Like a viewer of sorts. Well, maybe your window okay, turned so, out to be... So same place, just different, different universe, a parallel universe is what he's talking about here. And so these interdimensional beings, let's call them, um, are from somewhere else. But somehow these things have crawled through the doorway. And the mist is most likely the atmosphere from the other place. Guys, okay, we're starting to get some some answers here now, guys. I'm trying to try and make um, a, a window. That's what Donaldson was saying to me. Right? Yeah, bro, you're about to get sacrificed. Before he killed himself, I didn't Stop talking. Stop talking. It no more words. Fault. Oh, and destroying the secrets of life that only God above has any right to. <laughs> there are people who honestly and truthfully are like this in real life, guys. I. Uh, I'm sure you know, this is not new information, but there are seriously people who are like this woman in real life. Okay? Completely. That's just what it is. And I'm just, you know, listen. Uh, and I mean, they are heavily involved in every single statement that she just made. And, uh, and you know what? Listen. Things change generally. Right? Because, I mean, if you want all these scientific advancements, or maybe you don't. Right? Maybe you don't want all these scientific advancements, but you sure do live within the modern world and utilize a lot of scientific advancements, bro. You do. You do. Because if you don't live exactly like the Amish, and I'm not referring to like the new Amish, not the ones that have like the, uh, you know, the, the, the home telephone really close to the street on their property, but they still have a telephone. I'm not referring to the Mennonite neither. Right. What I'm saying here is the old Amish, let's say, before they decided to start putting telephones on their property, 
at yeah. least. Right? Um, if you're not living like them, bro, I'm sorry to tell you, you're living in this worldly world. So, but all right. Hey, hey, hey. Wow. Oh. Uh. Uh, so, uh. Oh. Tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll just have to wait and see. Bro, get out of there. Get out of there right now. Daddy. Get out of there right now. Daddy. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Bro, let, just let them delete each other one by one. And I'm gonna, let me go ahead and guess. You're gonna, she's going to be the last one alive. 100%. She's going to be the last one alive. Stealing food now? Stealing food? Going out now, Mrs. Carmody. What's happening? Please stand aside. You can't go out. I won't allow it. Won't allow it. <laughs> it God's will. Bro, listen. Don't you listen. Know that by guys, now? guys, please. Haven't I proven myself? You try it. Fucking try it. Come on. We want the boy. You we get want the boy. <laughs> you get back. Right. One more. Hit the, t hit, hit the T zone, bro. Go to the body. There we go. There, there we go. I'm going to be honest, bro. That's completely fine. She needed to go from the beginning. Just again, be glad that I was there. I wouldn't have ended her like that. I would have just kicked her out. Right? That would have been my life's mission just to make sure that she faces the outside of this door right like from the beginning i strongly detested her like she is easily one of the best super villains i've ever seen in a movie bro oh, get up get up, get up. Right. come on we gotta go oh bro how about make less noise bench seat what is that like a uh 70 Something mid 70s. Don't beep the horn, bro. Don't do that. Are we going? Yeah, it's time to go. It's time to go. Oh, no, no, yeah. Why would you? Wouldn't have. Oh, okay. Let's try this again. Yeah, wouldn't it have been smarter? If he did open the door for you not to scream at the top of your lungs and bring all of these creatures to the car, he could have probably done it much safer and faster without you screaming. Just a thought. Okay. Who am I? Random guy watching a movie. Right. But I think it would have been much more intelligent for you not to scream at the top of your lungs. Quiet. I mean, solid light setup. I'm gonna be honest here. Right, amazing. I love, I love that you're driving in front of this glass so everyone can see you getting away, hopefully, and them expiring, bro, for succumbing to the the words of a cultist. Mmm. Bro, it's like your house was ground zero. Don't don't even go inside, bro. Like for the sake of your your sanity, don't even go inside. Don't do it. Your house is ground zero, bro. Mm -hmm. The broken window. That broken window was 
pretty much the ending of his wife. I figured that from the beginning. Like, guys, these... These 1970s Land Cruisers were not very good on gas. They were, they were terrible on gas. Amazing off-road, but terrible on, on gas. Like, they still are amazing off-road if you build it. What? That's the, the tentacle monster beast. Wow. Bro, how big was the portal they opened up? If this thing came through, it was... And those things that broke through the window are, are like all over this animal. I don't know where you guys are going, but I definitely hope you get there fast. Right. Like if you've ever been in that model Land Cruiser, like on the trails, guys, these things burn through like maybe two miles. I say two miles to the gallon off road. It's it's crazy. Um, I rode in one at one time. Uh, yeah, they're not. That's that's. You should have literally taken another vehicle to the parking lot. Just gonna be honest. Was about to walk now. Hopefully, they're near something. <laughs> we gave it a good shot. Okay. Nobody can say we didn't. It sounds far. Get out and run. On the count of three, run. All right, let's go. All right, well, let's go. There's five of us. What? Wait, 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 wait. What's happening here? Wait, wait, what's, what's going on here? But there's five of us. Four bullets, but there's five of us. Bro. Bro, get out of the car and run. You got four bullets. I don't know where you are. I mean, hopefully you're near somewhere you can get inside of, but... Bro, don't tell me. Don't tell me, bro. Whoa. Whoa. Your son. Your son. The other people, I hey, listen, they, 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 they've lived their lives. Your son? Circumstances obviously are, are extremely bleak, but... Yeah, it's, uh, it's Come on! Come on! Bro, this is You could guys, if that Come on! At least giving him the Fifth bullet or something, because now I'm just I'm over. I, I can't even put my head to what's happening. Actually, guys, I don't know. Um, oh. It was Carol. Guys. Oh. Buddy.
based on a novella by Stephen King. You know, initially I was going to be like, bro, who, I was gonna, honestly just, who wrote this craziness, right? Um, this is one of the most twisted movies I've ever seen in my entire life, okay? Um, like sick and twisted. You make the father delete the son to save the son from the scary monster that is behind them. Just for the father to find out that the mist is being fought back, pushed back from the, by the military. Then to see the first woman that left to go get her kids with her kids alive if you would have just waited or gotten out of the car like I've been saying the whole time get out of the car you had four bullets make a run for it your only decision in your head was to delete your son the other three people I understand they're three people they're important I get it but your son. Okay. 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 This is a this is a ending of a movie that's going to damage me, I think. I think I'm going to be thinking about this for a little while. Um, I guess it's a mark of a, of a great movie. The movie overall it was a great movie. It, ha it had you in places mentally that... Um, you probably normally are not, right? Uh, we dealt with a couple of cult leaders. Yes, absolutely. Um, all of these, I'm sorry I'm speaking like this, guys. I'm just I'm just like, you know, we're kind of mentally reeling from what I just encountered. I don't know truthfully how to put words to this. Um, other than this is absolutely an atrocity. Okay, for <laughs> whoever directed this, okay, this is based on something Stephen King did, but I'm not, I'm not sure he actually directed it, guys, right? So it's scary to encounter something like this. Again, I don't know, you know, um, oh, God, guys. <laughs> wow. Listen, if you guys want to see the full-length reaction, it is on Patreon at the second tier. And uh, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly, guys. All right?